Hello everyone. Uh, today I am going to teach you uh, how you can create a Gantt chart uh, using some very simple techniques. Uh, we will use a scroll bar uh, which will make uh, the date range as a dynamic and everything will be on a single click and anyone can do it uh, just f uh, watch this video till the end and if you have not uh, subscribed the channel yet please subscribe the channel now and click the bell icon as well uh, so you keep getting the updated uh, video as well okay so let's start so first step uh, i'm going to input uh, the name uh, of the headings uh, let's say uh, I'm saying okay this is my project description okay I just created the first heading project description and here I am going to enter the project start date and here I'm going to enter project and date right so I just input the start date and the end date, right? So, okay, and here what I'm going to do, I am going to enter some project name. Let's say the project one, project two, I'm using the hypothetical name, project three, project four, project five, project six so i input uh, some names as well let me enhance uh, its height as well let me centralize them okay okay so now i'm going to input uh, the start date and the end date. so let's say this project is started from 1st january 2020 okay and ended on 30th january 2020 okay. this one is started let's say on 15th of january 2020 uh, and ended on 15th of May 2020. This is started on uh, 19th, let's say March 2020, and ended on 31st December 2020. Sorry. So I'm just ending at hypothetical dates. Uh, so let me add few dates. Uh, 15th November this one shall be the 6th of June and it on 8 November and 6 April and it on 8 October let me just do the same formatting by doing the format painter so okay now I get uh, the start date and the end date, right? See here, I input the dates, right? And now here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create some blocks. Uh, let me define uh, the height. Uh, I think this is fine. Uh, let me add a date here. Okay. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to input my timeline so i'm adding a formula date the year is 2020 and the month is fifth or the first january let's the first month and the first date so i got the first of january 2020 right so i got the first day of the year now i just take this cell and plus one to get the second day and let's say i am doing i am showing uh, one tenth day in a row okay oh uh, so let me just do the width size 12 so let's say i just select all of them and make the width size 12 now so now this is what this is my timeline i pull them and i merged all of them and i call it time line right okay so now what i'm going to do i am going to add some formula here i want to apply a conditional formatting uh, 
but to apply a conditional formatting what I have to do uh, I have to add a formula in these block cells okay how will I do that okay let me show you I want to return yes if the first January is per is fall between these two dates means the project is active on 1st January since the project is acting on 1st January so it should respond as yes so I am going to apply a formula if I am going to apply a formula if and in the if I have to apply a logical test in a logical test I want to I uh, to set two condition one condition is that that the 1st January should be greater than and equal uh, to a start date and the first January should be a less than and equal to 30th of Jan. So how I would do that? I will apply an end formula because I'm going to apply two conditions and I want to make both of these conditions to be true. Okay. So I am saying, okay, if this value, okay, if this value, and I will freeze the column four because all of them are in a row four. Okay. If this value is greater than and equals to this value is greater than and equals to this right and here all are my values are in the column e so that's why i'm going to freeze my column e comma now i'm going to set a second value second condition is that this value again i will freeze the column row four it should be less than and equals to this okay and I will freeze the column F. If both of these condition are true, then do what? Just type yes here. Otherwise, type no here. I'm sorry. And type no here. Bracket close and enter. It respond with a yes. So I just copy it all of them and paste it here. And it's now telling me okay. Uh, you can see by doing the freezing my columns are not going here and there and they are aligned accordingly so this should be if it's the 15th Jan and first my so if I change it to let's say uh, the 7th of January this is 7th of January if I put it 7th of January so as you can see this become yes okay so it means my project is starting at this point right so well, now what I have to do I am going to apply a conditional formatting here. I have select all of this table. I went on my home tab, went to the conditional formatting, and then I going to highlight if it is equals to, let's say, uh, yes. So you can see this become, you know, the highlighted, right? But I will not uh, apply this conditional formatting. I am going to apply a new rule because i want to do formatting in my way so i just going to say okay use a formula to determine which cell to format so i am saying that if b g5 okay i will not freeze them make sure that is equals to yes okay so g5 is equals to yes right if that condition becomes true what you should do how you format it I'm saying please uh, let's uh, uh, it's solely up to you which color you choose so I'm saying that please bring it to mm -hmm, the yellow one or oh, sorry the green one and my phone color will also be green so green over green the yes sign will be hide it, hidden okay so press ok and let's see wait a second uh okay i think i should not use the separator here otherwise it's become wrong just do like this okay and apply it so, okay this is doing this way if g5 is yes g5 is yes okay okay i'm sorry now okay so the so, so you will apply uh, the conditional formatting always you will start your formula with the equal sign you are saying okay the g5 because you are starting your range from the g5 and you will not freeze it and you are saying is equals to yes and press ok and now you can apply it and you can see okay your timeline is set now 
so if i change it to let's say 6 january so you can see it's become down here 3 january it's become further down here and i have to hide this no as well so what i have to i just select all of them because my background is white so i just change this color to the white as well right and now what i can do okay okay i hope you guys are clear till here now i have to make it more dynamic okay so if i change everything is linked with this particular cell because i have just summed them so now what i'm going to do a very interesting thing uh, please watch it very carefully i will go on my developer tab if you are not seeing a developer tab you will go on file you will click on option and then you will click on the customized ribbon and here this is unchecked you have to check them and press ok and you will see the developer tab then or uh, when you identify the developer tab what you will do you will go on this insert okay there is a form control and there is an activex control what you have to do here is a spin button and there is a scroll bar okay so you have to select this scroll bar and you have to draw like this okay you draw the scroll bars right okay there are you just you just made this scroll bar and you will go click on the right click and then click on format control and now it's saying okay what is your incremental change so i'm saying my incremental change is one okay and if you click this your page should be changing at 10 uh, by changing means okay if you are clicking on this blank space then your page basically changes okay your maximum value is from zero uh, you can change it to 365 because there are 365 days uh, in a year right 365 days in a year and where you want this value to be placed so i am saying okay i want to link this cell to one empty cell to be linked so when i press ok now you can see if i change here see i just clicking here this number is changing see this number is changing i'm simply scrolling it so now what i can do i made this formula at the very beginning and since my day is one i can simply link this with this and press enter right now what will happen see i'm just moving and my date is changing and you know see see this is very beautifully you know a can chart is created and one more thing which you can do is you can go on the view sheet and click on the hide grid line so now your high grade lines are hidden okay you can do one more thing here which is that you can uh hold that like this and you can further block it like this and you can block them as one block right so now what i'm doing is you can see a very good gantt chart has been created fantastic very simply where anyone can do it even if you are new to the excel you can do it with a very simple this techniques so i hope you like this project and also if this is irritating you you can just go here and hide it but do not delete it and you can simply scroll it very good so you can see okay when your project is starting and when your project is ending you can increase this timeline by adding more column as well so i hope you love it you like it and please give your feedback uh, in a comment section that how you like this project how you like this video and if you want more videos like this more informative videos uh, please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so you keep getting the more video updates whenever i upload them Thank you so much and have a good day.